What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts. My name's Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. Hope you guys are doing well. Doing fantastic here in LA. Uh, people, it's been a it's been a good week. Good as in I did my show. Thanks for everybody who reached out to uh, wish me well. First of all, it wasn't a big deal. Honest to God, it was just I just wanted to do a show here in LA where. I could headline in town because all my gigs pretty much suck nowadays. So I was like, I get up at Flappers, this comedy club in Burbank, and I, I was like, hey, can I do a show here? And they gave me, they were nice to me, but they gave me probably the hardest day, like Monday, 7.30, right? So honestly, there were like 25, 30 people in the audience, and I knew a lot of them. So it was this, it was this really intimate vibe. Like I'll post the whole set like when I get the tape, but you know, it was just like really laid back. It wasn't a, it was a big deal for me just to do a show in town and headline, have my name in the marquee. But at the same time, it, it was like, it's like another show. And it was a really supportive environment. It was, in fact, in the show, I think I said, this is like an intervention for me or something or a birthday show or something. Like that was the tone of it. But the night itself was pretty memorable and here's why. I have this thing in my mind where like when I'm preparing to do a show, usually if the show I do right before is good, then the show I'm preparing for sucks. Like it's weird, like I can't have two like great back-to-back -back shows. I don't know why, maybe I get too confident or something. So the day before my show on Monday, Flappers gives me a spot in the main room and that goes amazing. So amazing, I'm like, oh God, I'm not bombing my show tomorrow and Monday, right? So whatever, I'm, that's in the back of my mind. So Monday comes, I'm in the green room and the manager of the comedy club's like, hey dude, uh, Tharn, you wanna open for Polly Shore? He, there's two rooms at Flappers, the small room and the big room, and Polly Shore's the big room. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I got some time to kill. So I don't know if I ever told the story, but when I came to LA, like way back when, I got a hotel here to audition for the Laugh Factory. It was a dumb audition, but I came out here and I was walking down Sunset. I walked into like Paquito Mas and who do I see? Polly Shore. So he was the first guy I met here in LA, just like randomly. And he was, he gave me some advice. So when I saw Polly Shore on Monday in the green room, I was like, hey dude, we actually met at Paquito Mas or Burrito Max. And of course he didn't remember that, but let me just say Polly Shore is a cool guy. Uh, I've met a lot of celebrities and Polly was cool to me at, you know, Paquito Mas 25 years ago and he was cool to me in the green room. Paul, if you're watching this, I really appreciate the opportunity to even, you know, do time on your show. We just chill for a minute and then I guess he's doing this one man show thing. He shows slides and like talks about like his childhood or something. And he goes, hey man, when you bring me up, don't rile up the crowd. Like the host is like, hey, what's up everyone? We have a, we're gonna have a good time, all right, da 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 da. He's like, don't do that. He's like, just say, Polly Shore, stick with the dancing, the name of his one man show. And he's like, put the mic off to the side and walk off. And I, I write it down too, because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna forget this. It's like a lot of information. I go into the main room, it's sold out, like 200 people, and I go on stage. This is me and Polly Shore, by the way. I grab the microphone and it's not working. Like there's no audio, I'm like, hello, hello. It's not, I'm like, okay. I'm like, welcome to my TED talk, everyone. That's actually doing well. I'm like, holy shit, people are laughing for some reason. And then I hear, the microphone's working. So I take the mic, I'm like thinking, oh, now they can really hear me. I'm gonna start killing this audience. I start doing like mediocre. I'm not bombing, but I'm not doing great with the mic. Like they can hear me, I'm like, Jesus Christ. So it was like a tough, set because honestly i realized those people were there to see polly shore and they were like Who, who's this tech guy on stage <laughs> why is there some indian guy telling jokes to us so i'm like slaving through this like set right for open for polly shore and then I, I get to the end thank god and when i go all right polly shore keep with the dancing i'm like thinking, fuck stick with the dancing so i grab the mic i'm like uh stick with the dancing everyone <laughs> like i messed up the name of the the name of the show I apologize to Polly Shore. Uh, so I walk off and I see Polly and he doesn't say anything to me. So I don't know if he was mad, maybe he didn't give a shit, but I'm just gonna assume the worst because I you know, didn't give him the best intro. But I had a lot going on. I mean, the mic wasn't working. I was not doing great. Like it was just, a, I had to headline my own show in like, you know, 20 minutes. I don't know what the hell was going on in my mind. So 
I walk into my green room in the next room and, and all the comics opening for me, they're like, what happened to you? Where'd you go? And they were like, why do you look shell shocked? And I was like, man, you have no idea what just happened to me, <laughs> right? But at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, there was my bad show. So now I can have a good show in my show. But so I walked into my show with that frame of mind, just like, you know what? Screw it. Whatever happens, happens. And it was so nice to see like people there to see me. It was all Indians pretty much, maybe like four white people. But everyone was so supportive and I kind of felt like, oh, that's what it's like for Polly probably. Like those guys were there to see him and my audience, although much smaller, were here to see me. And it was a great night. Um, it was one of those nights where you just felt like, oh, you know what? This is what it feels like to be like a star or something. So again, it's one show out of many and on to the next. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk soon. Take care.